Hi, you guys. Welcome back to First Impression Friday, where I review an entire collection or an entire company's patterns, depending on how they have it set up. And I have been seeing this little guy pop up everywhere on TikTok, on Instagram. Everyone is making this right now. So I said, you know what? We've never done an Etsy indie pattern review before. So why not start with Daria? So this is Daria pattern making. Um, they do not say a lot about themselves <laughs> on Etsy. Um, it's not like they have a whole about me um, section, but she does say sewing your own clothes may seem like a daunting task, but it doesn't have to be. I show you how with how to sew with easy to follow detailed tutorials and sewing patterns for all skill levels. Follow me and create your unique handmade wardrobe, which I mean, sums it all up, right? Um, so we're going to take a look. She's from Latvia. That's fun. Um, but we're going to take a look at her seven sewing patterns that she has here and, um, see what we can find out. Now I've never even purchased a sewing pattern from Etsy before. I imagine just like with all PDF pattern companies, there's some good, bad, and ugly. Um, but people have been confident enough to give this one a go. So I feel like she might have some things that we would normally look out for she would probably have those covered so first up this has been updated I'm not sure updated from what but soft bustier bodice dress European sizes 32 to 52 US size 0 to 20 instant download a4 PDF sewing pattern rose cafe bustier dress we have a little description here this is an updated version of the rose cafe bustier dress pattern every bodice size can be sewn with every cup size. No more adjustments needed. Cup size is A through J, which is important for a dress like this because it is, you know, so the cups are so uh, fitted. If you have purchased a previous version, blah, 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 understand the instruction, you're welcome to watch a video on the whole sewing process on her YouTube channel. Uh, you get three PDF files, the bustier pattern, skirt pattern, and instructions. And uh, you're also able to print out and sew only the top. The pattern is designed for A4 and letter. Seam allowance is included. So um, you would not be able to send it off to the typical copy shop. You can send it to um, Sublime Graphics. Don't forget to use my code, um, ITH Sublime25 for 25% off because she will take the letter pages and digitally tape them together and then print them all out on one big sheet, which is just so amazing. And they do that at no additional charge. Amazing. So you'll just send her the files and she figures it all out. Um, both patterns designed with layers. Print only your cup size or a few sizes. Intermediate um, sewing level. Um, fabric is made of textured tweed with Lurex, which is best. I think Lurex is that metallic stuff, right? I recommend you, t uh, you take soft, thick, or medium thick non-stretchy fabrics with small percentage of elastane in composition. So I think what she's saying is drapey, heavy weight or medium weight. What's, uh, I think thick means weight, right? Um, and then the small percentage of elastane is certainly going to help with ease and comfort and fitting. So uh, maybe some kind of like stretch twill or sateen would be beautiful, something like that. Also, um, woven fabrics like tweed and stuff like that have a little bit of give to them, um, just kind of naturally because the way that they are woven, but maybe you can find something blended with something a little bit stretchy. Interfacing is needed to stabilize the main parts of the bodice. Should be thick enough, but not stiff like paper. So that means the non-woven interfacing would be best. It's more like actual fabric and not like paper. Um, the model is a lightweight dress and the instructions do not require boning. However, you can sew boning, underwires, foam cups. You can watch a tutorial on that. Okay, so there are it, there actually is a ton of information here. Um, of course, the one really nice thing about Etsy is that, I mean, they really love a review here and you can look at all the reviews just for this item which I mean even if indie pattern shops have review sections set up very rarely are they filled out 
Um, and these even come with lots and lots of pictures from anyone who has ever made them. So you can look through 135 pages of reviews, but this one has gotten five stars overall. So that's good to see. But line drawing here, we've got, you know, the soft bus cups. Um, I don't know much about bra making, but I think this little middle part here is like called a bridge or something, right? Um, it does have a little bit of a gap there. Full princess seam into little um, waist darts for the skirt. Let me make this even. Okay. Um, and then detailed instructions with diagrams, which I guess this is what that shows. Video of the process. Okay. So we're not going to get a ton of pictures of the make, which is more using this as like a sales sheet, which I think is how Etsy kind of sets it up. Um, print your size, all this stuff that we already read in that description. Here is the size chart. So we've got under bust, waist, and hips. Under bust. Okay. So I don't know what my under bust is. Oh, it's your bra, your bra band. Um, what is mine? I think it's up here. Uh, 40 maybe? I have not measured that in so long. Who knows? And then my waist is somewhere down here in the 36 range. And then my hips are right here. So I am kind of like a little within the 16, 18 category. So very inclusive. Not very inclusive. I'm sorry. Sort of inclusive. <laughs> it's not going to go into the plus size category, but it is going to cover all of the misses, which sometimes, as you know, we, we miss those, the higher end of the misses category. Um, and then, like I said, we have all of these bust cups available in the one pattern as well. So here's the fabric requirements that you need, the ribbon, stay tape interfacing, there's a zipper, there's lots of um, notions. Intermediate, you will learn a unique method of sewing cups, how to install invisible zipper, truly invisible, love that. Here's the line drawing again, cute. There it is on a dress form. There it is on a body and another body and another body. So cute. I mean, a tweed bustier, are you kidding me? You can't really go wrong with that. You cannot go wrong with that. Oh, there it is in like a silky satin under. That's cute. The whole outfit with the button down and everything. Kind of like lingerie, but you wear it out. All right, I get it. I get why people are so obsessed with this pattern. The versions that I've seen, people have been able to get such a great fit through the bust, which is obviously the most important part. And they all look absolutely dynamite uh, wearing it. Okay, so now to some of her lesser known patterns, I guess we should say. This is the pleated lily dress, pleated lily, with bow back detail and puff sleeves. Um, this goes up to a 22 actually. And then, welcome to watch a video on the whole process. Seam allowances are included, layers, easy intermediate. Okay, and this one has a solid 39 reviews where you can see people's versions. It's really cute. I kind of like it. Now, you guys know I used to be a fit and flare stan. Like, everything I wore was fit and flare. Look at this little bar tack detailing. Okay, excuse me. That looks amazing. Um, and kind of just got away from it because my lifestyle changed. But this doesn't feel like the fit and flares I was making. The ones that I were making were like cute for work. This is a statement piece. You're wearing this out. You're wearing this with girlfriends on a date. You know, these sleeves are not like you're going to wear that to the office. So maybe that is why I'm like, um, okay. And look how flattering this is through here. Oh my goodness. Um, how to sew, how to make puff sleeve heads. Okay, but I think you'll also learn a lot of pleating through here. There's some darts that open up into this full skirt. Love that. And then just kind of a little bit of a miss here. I feel like you just buy ribbon and then use that to tie. Uh, it's not my favorite, um, but at least she did address the, the fact that these do tend to fall down and you need to do something. Um, but it says... 
Oh, I bet people are trying to steal her patterns. That's unfortunate. Anyways, we have bust, waist, hips, and then your bicep. So bust-wise in inches, we've got 31 roughly up to 48. And then the hip in the size 22 goes up to a 52. And this is your size chart. This is nothing. We She doesn't have finished garment measurements available on the site. Um, these are your fabric requirements, interfacing, stay tape, ribbon, and invisible zipper again. This is just showing you kind of how the PDFs work. A little bit about her instructions. Her video um, looks really nice, clear, bright, good lighting. Um, here are the line drawings. Look at this back with all of that. I mean, your waist is going to look snatched from here to high heaven. And because you have these like fuller sleeves, it's like it creates an hourglass. I mean, even this line drawing, this picture looks like an hourglass. There it is on a body. I'd like to see it a little bit further away, but you get the idea. Oh, right. Are we back to the beginning? Yes. I want to see a full headshot to really give me the perspective that I am looking for. Also, I don't think she said anything about what kinds of fabrics. Um, so I'm guessing just any sort of mid-weight woven would work. That would be my guess. But, okay. So, pleated lily. So cute. So, next up we have, oh shoot. It's, Etsy makes it really difficult to navigate their site sometimes if you're trying to look through someone's entire catalog because it opens in a new tab. So if you close the last tab, then there's nowhere to navigate back to. I'm just griping, but you get what I'm saying. Interestingly enough, though, whenever I refreshed the homepage, it reorganized the order that these are showing up. Etsy's on to something. Okay, this is the million buttons dress. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's convincing me to buy it, but... Um, size zero to 20 and two cup options for this one. Uh, this is a button dress and blouse PDF videos. You can also find on my channel, a hack into a trendy milkmaid style fun, um, contains a link to a slit skirt pattern to use for this hack. So you can have two different dresses with this pattern, five files, a and D cup. A4 pages, works on letter. If you need the pattern AO format, just contact her. Oh, okay. So it sounds like she would send you an AO if you wanted one. And then the layers, intermediate, and then that's the same information as before. 114 reviews for this. So you can look at the actual garment on so many different bodies. Love that. And overall, Oh, I guess her whole shop overall has five stars. Well, you have to have a lot of five stars. Um, I found that the instructions for the pattern were written in a pretty confusing way. I think that's because they're being translated, but the YouTube video helped a lot. Thicker, silky fabric turned out beautifully. In the end, the blouse I made turned out great, but the process was very, very challenging. So, yeah, I mean, it depends on, I guess, your sewing skill level. She does say that it's intermediate, so there's something to be said for that. Um, I guess with all reviews, you kind of take them with a grain of salt, but this is it million buttons dress. So we've got like a little gathered sleeve V neck gathered bust cups again with a really wide, um, like waist band, I guess, um, gathers here just in two little spots on the skirt and your sleeve kind of comes into a lantern shape gathers. There's a little slit here and then four or so buttons even on the sleeve. So kind of a little bit of a throwback, vintage looking pattern, but maybe made a little bit more modern. How to make a neat button loop closure. That's a good skill set I have not really explored. Detailed instructions, the 50 diagrams, sewing YouTube channel, size chart, which we've already been over. But again, we've got the A cup and the D cup. All right. And then the fabric that you need for the dress and the blouse. Great. Try both dress and blouse options. All right. Let's see it on. Oh, in white, obviously. Be creative and hack this pattern. The original pattern was modified 
with short sleeves and a tiered skirt. Um, the original pattern was modified. See my YouTube channel for a tutorial. This is the milkmaid version. How is that diff? Oh, this is different. Yeah, that's cute. That's fun if you could like buy the pattern and then learn a little bit about hacking too. I mean, Seamwork does that um, pretty successfully. So it's nice that you would have that within this as well. So the milkmaid, instead of having all this, it kind of just goes into like a little sweetheart. That could be fun. I love the idea of making a dress, but also like being able to learn something too. All right, this is, oh, this is a pattern bundle. Have we seen all the others? No, this is Sunbell skirt and Sunbell top. Are they, hold on, let me make sure they're not sold individually. Yes, Sunbell skirt, Sunbell top. Okay, so we're going to skip this one because we're going to look at each of them individually here. And we're going to go to the wrap corset with boning. Um, extra, extra small to 5X. Miracle magnet corset. Okay, Miracle. This is a wrap corset belt, which is designed to be worn over another piece of clothing. The corset has boning, and I will show you a very simple way to sew it into a garment. Easy to follow. The structured shape is inspired by a wide waist belt. I recommend using tweed. This timeless fabric is a fabulous choice to inject a dash of elegance into your wardrobe. I also embellished it with beaded 3D lace, which is absolutely optional. <laughs> the word corset is just a name here. It's not an actual corset in the authentic historical meaning and does not tighten the waist. Okay. Here's the instruction information. Oh no, she copied and pasted something funky went down here. Um, but the sizing seems to be right. Up to 5XL, is that what it said? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's see. This one has 31 reviews. Not a ton of pictures. Simple and elegant. Easy to follow. It's a huge relief. I'm a beginner. I've tried on trial fabric and I can't wait to sew the real thing. Amazing to follow. First time making something with boning. Pattern made it so much easier. Okay, fun. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is that beaded lace she was talking about stunning what a chic little outfit yes i love this simple way to attach boning how to interface here is the size chart so bust in inches is that same 30.7 up to almost 45 and then your waist goes from 23 and a half up to almost 38. And then hips, I don't know, do the hips matter? Um, it's being blocked. I can't see the hips. Oh, there we go, 49. Wow, okay, so it seems like, is it just me or does it seem like the 5XL doesn't really translate to that many more sizes? It's like, this is her 20, her size 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, and 2. That's probably what it means. Um, that's a little misleading, I think, the 5XL. You would you hear 5XL, especially here in the U.S., and you think a lot more inclusive in terms of the measurements. All right, so main fabric, interfacing, lining, boning, ribbon, snaps, and embellishments. Detailed instructions and diagrams. This can't take that much fabric. But again, though, with the ribbon tie, I don't know about that. That feels like, yeah, I don't know about the ribbon tie. I mean, pretty ribbon, but this lady did it with like a rope. Um, can we sort by photos? Nope. Um, let's see if, oh, here we go. Photos from reviews. Oh, they're all mixed in. Darn.
I bet they start with the, yeah. Okay, so we've only got a couple of versions of this. Love this pattern, just perfect. And then we already read her review. So I guess you could make self belt or even purchased belt, I think would be better than ribbon. I've just never come across a ribbon that doesn't look like, I don't know, weird in a garment. There's got to be something better. Maybe like a leather, piece of leather or something. I don't know. Something cooler than just ribbon. But I do like it. It's definitely inspiring, right? Definitely all of these are different than what we normally see. I mean, yes. A little bit more body conscious. You know, we're showing lots of curves here. But if that's your vibe and that's your style, I like these. And look at the prices. The prices are all so spot on. So this is a slit skirt with a shirred waistband. Remember, I was just talking in the last video, the last First Impression Friday, I'm looking for pants like this. So maybe I can make this skirt first, make sure I actually like it on myself, <laughs> and then go through the trouble of uh, finish, uh, um, fitting a crotch and everything else. Um, this is called the Sun Bell. So slit skirt with shirred waistband and bow belt is a fun way or, I'm sorry, it's a fun and easy sewing project for beginners or intermediates. Make a slit skirt with a shirt waistband. This video tutorial will be perfect for you. Learn how to sew a skirt, how to shirt, and make a slit very neatly, even if you have no serger. This video tutorial is easy to follow along, beginner friendly, DIY tutorials, perfect. You're just starting out. Okay. It does go up to size 22, layers, and then all that same stuff. Okay. So. No one has reviewed just this pattern. Oh, wait, these two people did. Um, very pleased with my purchase and then just five stars with no words. So I don't really know how helpful that is. But here it is. Um, she made it in like an ivory bone colored, lightweight drapey fabric. Oh, here it is in like a little bit of a print. This is with that top that we're going to look at next. Certainly does make a really cute set. In this one, um, how to create shirring, detailed instructions and diagrams. Here is your size chart, waistband, up to 41 inches, and this must mean hip, right? Waist and then waistband, that doesn't make sense. Or is this the waistband before the shirring? No, that doesn't make sense. Hmm. Then again, we've never seen any of our hip sizes go up this high to 63. I don't know what that means. Um, fabrics. All right. A little less than, or about two yards, depending on your size. Narrow ribbon for hangers. What a fun little thing to call out. Woven interfacing elastic thread. That's all you need. There is the line drawing. Yeah, the only thing that made me nervous about this is this little lettuce edge here. I don't know how flattering that would be. Man, that's a really pretty picture. Yeah, still no real like full body. Like we barely even see the hem of the skirt in any of these pictures, even the ones on the beach. I mean, Yes, but it's like being blown and you can hardly tell what's going on. You know me, I'm such a stickler for these pictures. Like, they really need to be pretty. Okay, that's fine. I'm here for an aesthetic, you know, moment. But we're trying to buy the pattern too, so I need to see what that looks like. But, all right, there's Sunbell. And then if we go back, we're going to look at the Sunbell top. And this is like off the shoulder, very like prairie like I don't know what the historical sort of callback to this is but I get maybe I just have that word milkmaid in my mind but that's the vibe I'm getting but I'm sure it goes back to maybe Victorian um, 0 to 22 long and short sleeve options uh, shirt off the shoulder crop top is a fun and easy sewing project for beginner or intermediate sewists Video tutorial will show you how to sew the top. Takes and tr tips and tricks you need to make the perfect one. Um, 
layer. Okay, that's it. So on this, we have a few reviews, actually, a whole bunch, um, 12. So here's a couple with some photos. Turned out beautifully. Also one of the most clearly written patterns I've encountered. I'll definitely purchase another pattern from her soon. Very easy to use and open. The printing is easy to follow. The instructions are very clear, easy to follow, and I haven't sewn in 12 years. Would recommend to anyone. All right. So people are loving this. I mean, why not? you got your little like raglan, I guess, sleeve, but I mean, it is off the shoulder. And then shirring all along the neckline, at the bicep, along your waistline. And then if you make the long sleeve version, you also get it at your elbow and wrist. So lots of practice with shirring here. And then this has, oh, your shoulder breadth. That's nice to have rather than basing it off of your bust. But if you have a fuller bust, you can compare those here, your waist and then your bicep. Um, a little more than one and a half yards, depending on which version. I mean, look, the short sleeve version is a one yard wonder. Um, if you make the long sleeves, then you're up to like almost one and three quarters of a yard, but still. Um, elastic thread. And then your ribbon for the hangers. I love that detail. A little flat lay. There she is on the beach again. Yeah, I think it makes a really cute outfit. You know, we were just looking the other day when I was doing that jumpsuit, um, like asking for y'all's help with that jumpsuit, looking at those boutique shops. This is what all of those shops are selling. Stuff like this. Little sets that match, off the shoulder, shirring, easy, comfortable. I mean, it's an elastic waist, but it looks a lot more elevated, right? I mean, this one has belt carriers and like, it's not just like throw elastic in a casing, you know, this is much more elevated than that. So in that regard, I really respect it a lot. Um, yeah, it's cute. I, like I said, I think I would, I don't know. I definitely would want to try one of her patterns. I'm not sure that I would jump right into the... Um, what was it called? Rose Cafe one. This feels like, ooh, bus cops and bra making, but definitely something like this, this bustier. This set here, which you can get the bundle, both patterns for $9, um, just feels like a really fun, youthful, but yet still really cute and mature kind of vibe. And then you can wear them as separates. You can wear them together. Maybe this is where I would start. But I mean, look, 13,000 sales. That's amazing. That is amazing. Um, so there you go. Daria pattern making. She doesn't have a large collection, as you can see, but that's okay because it seems like she's got a very definitive, like, style. You know, she's going for feminine, 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 um, with a little bit of, like, a historical throwback, too, which I can really appreciate that. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Have you ever shopped on Etsy before? Have you ever worked with one of Daria's patterns? Have you, like, what were your thoughts on working with them? Um, I want to hear all your experiences about this pattern company and also Etsy in general. If you want to see more Etsy pattern reviews like this, let me know and I'll try and find some more, um, like, you know, good looking pattern companies. I think that there's quite a few of them on here. Uh, I just don't know how many of them are great. <laughs> I guess we could find that out together, but let me know what you guys think. I have linked to last week's First Impression Friday, which is the Simplicity Spring video, spring collection. So tap the bottom right hand corner of your screen if you want to watch that. But otherwise, that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye!